Let's take it up to Jeff. All right, who's ready for your next bout of the evening? It is sponsored by the crew right here at Hooters Augusta. Give them a round. This next bout is in the lightweight division, contested under the rules of K-1 kickboxing, and it is scheduled for three two-minute rounds. Your first fighter fighting out of the blue corner. He weighed in at 156.4 pounds. He makes his debut here tonight. He is representing Icebox MMA out of Guyton, Georgia. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Caleb Collins. Nice round of applause for the debuting Caleb Collins out of Icebox MMA, trying to keep the momentum rolling for his team as they have three fighters here uh, competing this evening, one of which have been successful thus far. Caleb looking to make it two for two. And uh, this contest, once again, at 155 pounds, brought to us by Hooters Augusta. As here comes young Caleb Collins. There we go. They're fired up. Enjoying that walkout. Again, I, Icebox I, those colors. I like those colors on Icebox. Oh, yeah. That's, that, that's, that's cool. Part Very fun. literally. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it, 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 again, they're coming in confident, fitting ice box, you know. So it, they've already got one in the bag. And I'm digging those pink shorts too. Let's get ready to meet his opponent here, here as uh, Jake Morris gets ready to make his way to the cage. We'll go to Jeff to meet him now. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner. He weighed in at 155.6 pounds. He has a record of one win with one loss. He's representing Body Shot Combat at a Lowell, North Carolina. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Jake Morris. All right, Jake Morris, here he comes. Already, already suited up and ready to go. He's ready to go. With a record of one and one, he'll have the experience here representing uh, Zach Klaus's Body Shot Combat in Lowell, North Carolina. And uh, man, this one should be fun. I, I think that uh, you know, the, you got the experience of Jake Morris coming in at one and one already. We'll see if that does him any good here against uh, the, the young buck, Caleb Collins, doing his, his first fight ever. But Collins looks to be the bigger guy. You know, Collins looks to be the longer, rangier yeah. fighter. So we'll see if, if he's able to use that to, to his benefit here. He looks ready. He does. He does. He looks ready. This one's set back for two minute rounds, three by two. And it looks like um, a bit of a discussion here in the corner. I'm not sure if it's a, what it's about. But they're closing up this cage door, and these guys are about to throw down. In our third bout of the evening, we're set for 14 bouts, so we've got a lot more action Settle in. to come, man. If your uh, friends are uh, not tuned in, uh, have them tune in. Let them know there's still a lot more to go. Oh, yeah. And if uh, our first two fights have been any indication of what we got to come, should be a great night of fights. And, uh, so far, so good. It looks like we've got some Vaseline maybe being applied. Yep, yep, that's what it is. That's what it is. As um, Coach Zach Klaus gets Jake Morris greased up here. You know, we, we saw a cut in that first Muay Thai fight. Yeah. It's rare that you see that many cuts with the headgear and the big gloves like that, yeah. honestly. As it is, uh, it's gonna be Caleb Collins in those pink shorts over there out of the blue corner. Jake Morris in the black shorts in the red corner. If, uh, you need a little help keeping these guys uh, distinguished. Our referee gets gloved up. I believe we're going to be ready to rock and roll in our third bout <laughs> of the evening. Just adjusting the headgear. All right. I think we're almost ready. As up, oh, there's one more uh, commission member sticking his head in here with some. All right. All right, all right, I think we're good we are, to go. We are closed. Here we go. All right, here we go. And uh, ring, first bell starts, touch of the glove, here we go. Caleb Collins opens up with a nice leg kick and a front body kick as well, push kick. Collins is looking to use that range, nice uppercut. Yeah, and he's starting to string some things together too with some uh, follow-up punches off those leg kicks, it's nice. Big overhand right answer, though, from Jake Morris. Yeah, nice counter. 
of lead leg kick of his own. Answered back and uh, side kick there from Caleb Collins. It's flashy so far. Mm. Looks like uh, he is looking to use that range, you know, keeping that hand out there to kind of gauge distance. Oh, nice combination. A little four piece there. Oh, 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 oh. So we've got exchanges early, good defenses being used on both sides. Yeah, none of this really affecting Jake Morris too much just no. yet, but he's certainly scoring out here. Right? Jake's going to have to figure out a way to get inside of that reach. That's the key. That's the key. If Jake can get in without taking too much damage. You know, and it's not even a damage. It, it could just be a just consistent peppering, mm -hmm. you know, of a jab. Or a oh, that's a nice, oh. Oh, nice combination. Again, in the body kicks, nice. really thudding there for Caleb Collins. Coming out, I mean, look, hey, getting that experience. Caleb Collins and Southpaw here, too, I should mention. Nice overhand ride from Jake Morris. Good size on, on Caleb Collins. Uh, to be to be young, young buck like like he is, he, he's very composed out here early. Is that uh, check that he checked that kick? He yeah. felt that. Oh yeah. The power of checking kicks, kids. Check kicks. Ooh, nice, uh, nice two piece landed by Jake Morris yes. there actually. Yes, it was. And, and I've noticed like if Jake will miss this kick, he'll follow up with another little like side kick from a weird angle. So that's something that Collins needs to watch for. But so far that's he's, he's, he's avoided every time. Action. Close yeah. round in that first round. Who yeah. did you give that first one to? Ooh, ooh. Well, I mean, you look at the cleaner. You look at the cleaner punches. Then you look at the power punches. I hate to be a judge in this. I mean, I really, I mean, because because they're really having a hard time because these these rounds are going back and forth, as you can see in the replay. Superman, oh, punch, a Superman punch off the cage, mind you. Little little, little Anthony Pettis, as you can and you can see, straighter punches, the kick. Now those body kicks. The body kicks has been a real nice weapon for for Caleb Collins. Uh, props to Jake Morris. He's he's avoiding a lot. He's he's at the very least covering up and blocking a lot of this. But to me, the volume that Caleb Collins has, has shown in this first round would edge out the round for him. I'm not calling them very well tonight, but that but that's that's how well, I get, would see it. You get the activity versus the power shot. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and what do you grade as a judge? Mm -hmm. You know, or, or is, is, is it points? You know, when you with the peppering. Or is it literally the power of the thud? Right. Round two of three. Here we go. Touch of the gloves to start as we're back in action here at Augusta Fight Night at the Bell Auditorium. And it's Morris pressing forward this time, but uh, Collins answering nicely. Sticking that jab out is Collins. Really, again, for, for his age, doing a pretty nice job of, of, of staying composed and, and, and using good footwork, staying on the, on the outside. Yeah, using that range is key. It's key, and, he, and he's getting the feel for it. A lot of good head movement out there as well. And Jake Morris, uh, a little more assertive this round, I'll say, though, uh, than the first round. Well, Jake knows he can get in there. Mm -hmm. He's confident that when he does get in, he can land He can land the lever. So. Yeah, the big right hand is, is what Morris is looking to land, and I, I think there's some power behind that if he can land it clean. Body again. kick again, though. Oh. Yeah, body kick of, your, of his own. Hey, Morris. Oh, 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 oh. That right I hand we spoke more. about caught. Uh, yes, that time twice. Case, another one right and there. And he caught him again. He's starting to find a home for that right hand. Less than a minute to go here in the ooh, block there for the most part, but it sounded yeah. pretty. Oh, yeah. I mean, again, they're throwing it second round. About a minute, about, not about 40 seconds, 44 seconds to go. Much better round for Morris here. Oh. In my opinion. He's letting his hands go. Yeah, he's starting to land that right hand a little more. Well, his body kicks. And his that, own body kicks, That yes. power. That power that he's throwing, I think, is starting to kind of slow things Another down. Another check kick there. That's yeah. the second time we've seen that. Both yeah. times it kind of affected Collins. No, no, I think that one really, the wince. Yeah, he's got Collins backed up against the cage now. The kid's going to have to start digging deep. Yeah, because he's got potentially fighting on one leg. And Morris is starting to smell a little a little blood in the water maybe, you know? Yeah. Starting to come on with his kicks as uh, we're down to the final seconds. Nice body kick again from Morris and a big right yeah. hand over the top. Yeah, right above us. I mean, Morris is letting it go. Now that one <laughs> oh, yeah. was the yeah. tides are beginning to shift, I feel like, yes. a little bit. Yes, I would go. I would definitely, that round, hands down, 
Morris. Morris, I would agree. All day. And All I day. feel like the momentum's starting to go that way. So yes. we'll see if Caleb Collins is able to answer. Let's get us to this replay, Travis. All right, so as you can see, you know, Morris is coming forward. The kicks, Collins is coming. They're both kicking back and forth. The body work from these young men is exceptional. Now you can see that big overhand right. Morris, he's finding it. When he can get in, he lets it go. He's effective. It's just, can he continue to get in? But those check kicks, I got a feeling, are really going to show themselves in this in this final round. After that one in the second round where, where Collins kind of winced a little bit, it seemed like his movement definitely decreased. He allowed himself to get caught up against the cage more than he has been up to this point. We'll see if Morris is able to take this momentum and roll it into the third round and come out ahead of this one, or if Collins is able to kind of find his footing again and, and uh, you know put a stamp of it of his own. Third and final round, our referee getting ready to get us started here. And this fight has played out more like a K1 bout. Yes. We haven't seen, you know, the, the clinching uh, like we did in the first one. None. None. Body kick from Morris opens up as uh, Caleb trying to find that range. He answers with a kick of his own. The, the, the body work. The body work. And now, when Caleb's throwing those kicks, Morris is answering with a flurry or two or three punches behind him. Yes. Finishing Again, with a kick of his own. Morris is getting in. He's closing the distance. You know, he's realizing that once he's in, that's when he's got to let him go. And that right hand has been finding a home. They're starting to chant for Caleb uh, Collins out there, trying to get, get this kid fired up here. Another right hand lands, though, for Jake Morris. Leg kick from Jake Morris. And you can see oh, the, the inner well, thigh the well of uh, oh, Collins. That's right leg is, is welted up nice. Oh, that's bad. I mean, and, and, and the outside. And the matter. outside. Oh, my God. Oh, Both hey. sides. Those kicks, people, just because they have guards on. Yeah. Morris, Morris, is, uh, Morris is activity really, really picking up here in the third round. Yeah, he's really taking the fight, you know, to his opponent. Not as much snap on the strikes of Collins in this third round as he had earlier in the fight. Well, I, and I think one, the body work, and two, the leg kicks. The leg kicks. I mean, when you're fight, again, there's another one. When you're fighting on one leg, <laughs> I mean, when the leg goes, it goes. There's nothing you can do about that. You, you, there's no power, you know, and it's your lead leg. Mm -hmm. 15 seconds to go here is Jake Morris, in my opinion, kind of edging out this third round, and in my opinion, edging out this fight, but. They're really throwing down the last, uh, oh, the last, last few seconds. Minutes, I mean, they're both getting at it. They're both landing punches. Oh, Morris, I, I mean. They're going to make sure they didn't leave anything out there. A nice show of respect for yes. both these guys. I think the judges are going to have their hands full with this one. I, I keep embarrassing myself on the predictions. My, I, I would go 29-28. Morris, what's your take? 29-28, Morris. I mean, I, it, just especially that last round. I mean, technically, now, here's the funny thing. If he would have just circled and kept circling. Here's a replay real quick. I mean, that's that last. This is that flurry at the very end where the guys really let it go. This flurry could decide the fight. Because if the judges see something different in that, because he could have just danced and won the round flat out. But he decided to engage. We're all happy he did because that really made a great last couple of seconds. But that literally could be the turning factor in that round if something was seen I mean he looked like he got the more favorable blows in the replay but again we certainly aren't being paid for our uh, for our <laughs> judging opinion <laughs> probably for the best but uh, hey both these guys really put on a nice performance I was super impressed with the composure and, uh, re and really just the, the flashiness early of young Caleb Collins yeah. impressed with Jake Morris's ability to kind of Weather that initial storm in the first round, uh, uh, make the adjustments in the corner there uh, to, to creep ahead, in my opinion, later in the fight. So I thought both these guys super, super impressive, especially, uh, you know, this being the first fight ever for Collins. Oh, Collins came through big time. I mean, it's just the fact that now he knows. Now he knows what it's like, one, not only to make the walk, but to also get in there, get hit, and weather a storm. Because he got cracked a couple times. So he, he knows he can take a lick. 
Let's find out what the judges thought about this one, and let's go to the man, Jeff Hobbs, and uh, let's get this decision. The scorecard. All three of your judges saw this about the same way. 29-28 for your winner by unanimous decision. Out of the red corner, Jake Morris. Well, by golly, we got one. We got one right. <laughs> Great fight, though. Um, I guess the judges, for the most part, saw it, saw it very similar to what, to what we saw there. Yeah. Travis? Oh, 